What is going on everybody? I am Melty Gore. You Gores are awesome. First of all, let me start out by saying if you are not a Gore, you should subscribe. You know you want to. And if you don't, that's cool too. But anyway, we're going to continue off with this video about my first video game experiences. My first console, which was the PS1. But let's pause real quick because you notice I have some NES games chilling here. And that's because I need a backup and tell you a little backstory first. The first video game I ever played, at least on console, was Duck Hunt and Super Mario Brothers. I believe it was the first game I ever played. If not, it was Doom on PC. I was very little. Um, I used to play both of these. They had the Zapper with Duck Hunt, which was awesome, of course. And um, I used to play these in the waiting room of the doctor's office when I was waiting to get surgery or whatever. And they were awesome. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Anyway, moving on. Flash forward a couple years, and I get a PlayStation one memory card not the same memory card or playstation i had when i was a kid although that would be kick ass if i still had it anyway moving on first system i ever got playstation one got it for christmas with my brother in the 90s i was born in 91 i don't know what year we got it for christmas but it was relatively new at the time um 96 97 i'm assuming ish i don't remember the exact release date but, moving on, the first three games we got, and I still remember this day, to this day, that came out weird, uh, was Air Combat. Air Combat was the first game I saw in the pile of three. Um, this game's fantastic, my brother and I would play this all the time, multiplayer. It was really good one-on-one -on -one dogfight style, multiplayer action. Sounds like a commercial. Anyway, never really played single player too much because I was really young and sucked at beating games. I thought they were all hard and it was just terrible, but I did play it. Really liked it. Just really hard for my age, along with a lot of games we're going to talk about because um, I was really young. Um, the next game I saw in the stack of three, yeah, I unwrapped the games. I remember that. We unlocked the, unwrapped the console together. My brother, I believe, unwrapped the second controller and I unwrapped the three games. The next game, Crash Bandicoot 2, which was a single player only game, but we played it together nonetheless, and it was awesome. We would switch back and forth, uh, every death or every level or whatever, and the first level, Turtle Woods, I remember that exactly, and I was like, what is this game? It's so weird, but it turned out to be one of the best series on the console. Next game in the pile was Soul Blade. Soul Blade was a fantastic game fighting game. We played it multiplayer a ton. The single player was really cool because you went through and unlocked new stuff and it was awesome. And my brother and I would play that non-stop multiplayer as well. That had really great replay value for the time. Multiplayer was amazing and we played it a ton. I remember we had this TV that was so old, older than this kind of TV. Well, much older. This is a DVD player, but very old TV and so old we couldn't even hook the PlayStation up to it. Um, but anyway, we ended up sending it in the living room and played there until we got one, which kind of annoyed my parents because we wanted to play it all the time. Um, now this is a cool accessory I got recently, if you saw one of my Gore Bias Games um, videos that I did, uh, where I show myself going out and buying new games and I tell you what I got when I come back, is this. I wish I had this when I was a kid. This is a Sony official flight stick with two joysticks, buttons, and everything that's officially branded with Sony. I wish I had a better one because these kind of are coming off, but it uh, doesn't matter. This would be sweet for air combat. I played it, I tested this with that game when I got this, and it does work. Um, I just wish that I had this back then. That would have been really cool. Um, anyway, what I want to talk about next is some of the other games I played a bunch and some of my other favorites. So to start, we're going to continue with the Crash games with Crash Bandicoot. Warped. This game was fantastic. Um, great story about this game. My brother and I and my parents were at the mall uh, in Vermont, which is where I used to live. And we got this game at Sears because my dad worked for Sears on the side of his other job and got a discount. So we went there and got this. And um, we ended up going to the arcade afterwards. And my brother and my dad were playing Terminator, Terminator 2, I think, the ones with the guns where you like, actually shot the robots. And he set the game in the bag, like right down 
by his feet next to the thing while he was holding the gun or whatever. And um, then we all, you know, I was off playing something else. I don't know where my mom was at, maybe with me. I don't know. But um, or she might have been in another store. Oof, excuse me. Um, but we left the arcade, and my mom's like, where's your game? And he's like, oh, no. We left it at, he left it at the arcade. He was carrying it. Um, we went back, and it wasn't there. And we're like, oh. My brother and I were so upset. We were, like, crying and everything. We were really young. And um, my parents weren't just going to go buy another one, you know what I mean? So um, we're walking around the mall. I'm, like, bawling my eyes out because I'm a little kid, and the game just got taken, taken from me. Ugh, taken from me. And eventually, my brother saw this kid and his dad walking, and he saw them holding the Sears bag. And, like, I guess it reflected just right, and you could kind of see through it. And my brother points, and he's like, there it is. And we all, like, we walk over to him, and my dad's like, that's ours. We left out the arcade. You guys took it. And we're like, oh, no, 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 it's ours, whatever. And he's like, my dad's like, let me see the receipt. And they didn't have a receipt. My dad pulled out the receipt for it, and bam. Long story short, we got it. And I remember playing it that night. It was so much fun. Um, it was so much better than the second one. Still, the second one still held up, though. The second one's still really good. But that was a fantastic game. Great story with that. Um, this next game is one of my all-time favorite games on the console, and that is Crash Team Racing, which I also have the PAL version for. Found it at a yard sale really cheap, so I grabbed it. Um, Crash Team Racing is my favorite kart game of all time. Yes, I know Mario Kart's really good, which I really like, too. Don't bash me too hard. I just really liked Crash Team Racing. Loved it. Um... Very good game. Moving on, Crash Bash, which I wish I had the multi-tap adapter for at the time, but I never owned one of these, which kind of sucked, because if you don't know, this is a um, multiplayer, um, multiplayer, like, minigame game, uh, and it was much better with more people. It was like a four-player thing. You could play with bots, of course. But um, with four people, it would have been much better. But that was a really fun game. I do have Crash Bandicoot 1. I just cannot find my copy right now with everything being all over the place. Um, moving on, another series I really, really loved when I was a kid was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater was amazing back in the day. I still play them to this day on the old console. I love, love, love them. I've never played the third one too much. I should play that uh, now because I do still play old games and stuff. I love them. Um, number one and two, I can't even tell you how many times I played them all the way through with different characters, beating it, unlocking everything, just because I loved them so much. Very excited for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, which I think comes out later this year or early next year. Very excited for that. Next game, Spyro the Dragon. Um, I do have the others, but I just pulled one to symbolize the whole series. I played Spyro the Dragon 1 on the demo disc the PlayStation 1 came with and said that blue disc had a bunch of demos on it and played that demo a ton. My friend up the road had all the Spyro games, played them there a bunch. He was like the only one of my friends that actually had a PlayStation 1. And we played Spyro there, we played Tomb Raider there, and Tomb Raider was really hard. Um, speaking of Tomb Raider, that's what I wanted to talk about next, was Tomb Raider series. I never owned these when I was a kid. My, uh, like I just said, my uh, friend down the down the street from me did. They owned all of these, at least most of them. Um, and I remember them being really hard because you're kind of just dumped in with no direction at all, and the controls were really difficult at the time as well. And um, but they were really cool, and I always wish that I was able to play them. But you know, it kind of sucked. Um, but anyway, moving on, this next game is a PS1 version of my favorite arcade game, and it was at this pizzeria we used to go to, they had like the arcade, you know, the actual stand-up cabinet, and uh, I didn't know this game existed on PS1 when I was a kid, and I honestly didn't know about it until like a year or two ago that it was actually on a console. I knew it was on like Dreamcast and stuff like that, I didn't know it was on PS1, and that is Marvel Super Heroes. This is one of my favorite arcade games ever, and it was really cool to play on the console because I never really went to that pizzeria much, and usually when I did, my parents didn't have quarters or whatever, or we were just there to pick up, so we weren't there long, but I um, really loved that game. It was really cool because it had different characters in it than you would expect. Like, it had some that you would expect, like Wolverine, Spider-Man, 
the whole Captain America and Iron Man, but then, like, it had a couple other characters that you're like, whoa, those are kind of random characters to be in a game like this. And those were uh, Psylocke, uh, Shumagorath, Blackheart, Juggernaut, and Magneto, which I thought was really cool now. I mean, back then I didn't think of anything of it, but looking back, it's like out of all the superheroes they could have picked, I'm surprised those are who they went with. Um, I have one more main game to talk about that my brother and I both really, really, really liked. We played the demo a bunch. Same disc as Spyro, actually. The reason I never got Spyro is because my parents tried to get us games that we both would like, um, and my brother wasn't a fan of Spyro, so they never really got it, and I didn't really have money to buy it or whatever, and I always had other games I wanted more for some reason. But um, this next game, we played the demo on the same disc a ton. Uh, and that is Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid is fantastic. One of the best games on the console. One of the best games ever, in my opinion. The storyline's just really, really good. And it's got really good replayability with unlocking new things every time you read the game, which is really cool. Um, and so my brother and I, my brother especially, played this demo over and over and over and over. And we finally got the game, and we beat this game all the time. Times. Actually, I don't think I ever personally beat it without help from my brother because I was so young. But my brother beat it multiple times, and I remember just sitting there watching it. It was such a good game. I love that game, and I really want to beat number two and three. I played them a little bit when I was a kid, but for some reason never got into them. So I own them now, so I'm thinking I might as well go for it and try and beat those now because I think the storyline would be really cool, especially with the new one coming out. Not that they tie in too much. But uh, I think playing two would be really cool because it picks up right after this one, um, I believe, anyway. Um, a few other games I'd like to talk about that I don't have out um, are the Final Fantasy games. The Final Fantasy games are fantastic. Those are, again, one of the best series on the console, 7, 8, 9, and Tactics. Um, they also had other games like Anthology and Chronicles, which were basically collections of other Final Fantasy games. But uh, anyway, I didn't really play them too much. I do have... Anthology or Chronicles, I might have both, I don't remember. Um, but those were really good games. I remember playing 7, 8, 9 a ton, and Tactics was really good too, which I am actually currently playing uh, Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lions on PSP, um, because I really wanted to play the game again, because I never beat it all the way through, and I loved the game, and I was so young that those types of games were really hard for me. Um, I think the closest I ever got to beating a Final Fantasy game, which I'm pretty sure to this day I've never beaten, a Final Fantasy game, which is kind of depressing to think about. It sounds kind of pathetic, but uh, 7, 8, 9, I played the most. 7, I probably got the farthest. Um, 8 was... I th 8 and 9, I probably got probably the same amount of hours through. I loved all three, though. Really good. I need to play them again. Love those games. Um, tactics, I never got really far, because there's this one mission early on that's really difficult. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty far in the PSP version, so hopefully I can beat that just for the experience, but uh, some other games I want to talk about real quick, Medieval, um, same blue demo disc, I played that a bunch, that was a really cool demo, um, Cool Borders 3 was a great demo on that disc, these are games I never owned that I wish I did, I need to get them now, because those would be really cool to play, let's see, what other games did I like, Darkstone, Darkstone was kind of like a hidden not a lot of people knew about it, but it was really cool, kind of a Diablo clone dungeon crawler. Not a great story or anything, but lots of RPG fun. It was really cool. Just kind of run around, hack and slash, level up. Uh, very linear, but very fun. Let me know if you guys have ever heard of that game. I know a lot of people haven't. Another great game was Jade Cocoon. That was a really fun game because it was kind of like a mash between Final Fantasy and Pokemon. And you could also take all these creatures you found and morphed them into better creatures, which was really cool. Um, There's a lot of cool creatures in that game. Love that game a lot. Um, I remember getting that game for like 8 bucks at a store called Coconuts. I don't know if any of you guys remember Coconuts or know what it is, but that was a really cool music video game movie store. Kind of like FYE now. Um, trying to think of what else I can talk about. Uh, so many memories. I might do videos about certain games individually, too. I want to do videos about other consoles I got, my experiences with them. Um, so if there's any console you want me to talk about or anything, let me know. I can already tell you I'm going to do a GameCube video. I've got a really cool video planned for the GameCube because I have so many great memories of that. Uh, I'll probably do more about PlayStation 1 games and stuff. Um, I really want to do a lot of these kind of vlog 
videos about video games and about my experiences, my memories, my favorite games, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, I am Melty Gore. Hit that like button if you like this and drop me a comment below on what your favorite PlayStation movie game is and I will talk to you guys later.